now let's move on to the concept of relation between electric field and its potential. Let's consider the small distance between A and B which is defined as dx. From this the work done in moving a unit positive charge from A to B is defined as dV equal to E into dx where E is indicating the energy dx is indicating the distance whereas dv is indicating the work done by a positive charge. So considering an electric field and its potential so we, you can see here how the work has to be done against the force of repulsion in moving a unit positive charge towards the charge plus q which is indicated over here along the electric field. So from this we can yield dv equal to minus e into dx. From this we can opt the value of e which is e equal to dv divided by dx. Apart from this the change of potential the difference in terms of its distance is said to be known as the potential gradient. Hence the electric field is considered to be equal to its negative gradient of its potential. And this negative sign is indicating that the potential tends to be decreasing in the direction of its electric field. And its unit of electric intensity is expressed as V m to the power of minus 1 that is voltmeter. Let's now consider the charge plus Q which is isolated point charge situated in air at a point P. So you can see here the charge Q which is indicated over here. P is a point at a distance R from plus Q. Consider two points A and B at a distance x and x plus dx from the point O. So now the potential difference between A and B is dv equal to minus E into dx. So now the force experienced by a unit positive charge placed at A is E equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by X square. So therefore we can yield the value of dV that is minus of 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by X square into dx. So here the negative sign indicating that the work is done against the electric force. So in this equation the electric potential at a point P due to the charge Q that is plus Q is the total work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point which can be defined as V equal to integral with the lower limit of infinity to the upper limit of R. So integral infinity to R Q divided by 4 pi x square into dx. Substituting the value of integral, the term will be V equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into R. So over here this Q is indicating the charge and X is indicating the distance. dV is the potential difference and epsilon naught is indicating the permittivity of free space whereas R is indicating the radius. 